What's going on guys, car review guys here. Today we're in a 2019 Ridgeline. Uh, it is an all wheel drive version and it is the RT, RTLE, uh, which is pretty fully loaded. So we've got leather seats, uh, they're heated. Um, it's got this nice big screen on it, which we'll go over uh, in a second. But uh, yeah, I mean, so, my first impression of this truck looking at it from the outside is like, mm, it's okay. Uh, it's a lot better than the old Ridge Lines. Um, the headlights are pretty nice on this, nice and bright. Uh, the mirrors have high visibility uh, with them being pretty rounded. Uh, but then you get on the inside, and I think that's where this truck uh, sets itself apart, in my opinion. It's actually really quiet I can't hear any road noise really whatsoever no motor noise it's smooth the steering is buttery smooth the transmission you can't even feel I mean it just shifts and you have no idea unless you're watching these rpms uh, the visibility is great out of this the windows are really big back window as well great um, but here's some of the key differentiators in this opposed to other trucks. So the standard for this is actually a front wheel drive. Um, and then you can upgrade to an all wheel drive version. So obviously the difference in that is most trucks are rear wheel and then you can lock them into four by four. So that's what's really nice about this truck. I think this will be a lot better for a daily driver uh, because the all wheel drive through all weather elements is better than four by four. Uh, if you lock in 4x4, four four, you want it to be either, you know, snowing or some really bad weather just because it's always going to stay locked. So whenever you go around a turn, the wheels are going to uh, basically stay the, same, stay the same rate. And that is basically really bad for the vehicle if the one wheel cannot slip some, uh, like on snow. All-wheel drive has variable to where the wheels will slow down for the inside wheel and the outside wheel, so on and so forth. So works out a lot better with all-wheel drive for a daily driver. Um, as far as the seat, it's actually really comfortable. Um, you have these little armrests, you can move them however you want them. So that's actually really comfortable because my elbow rests right on it, um, which is great. And uh, yeah, I mean, my first impression of the vehicle is actually like really nice. Uh, I didn't uh, expect, you know, to be honest with you, to be really impressed with this uh, because it is a Honda Ridgeline and people are like, oh, you know, not a real truck, whatever. I mean, there's various comments, right? But uh, anyway, yeah, not, not, not the case. So anyway, let's do, uh, let's do some cinematics of it just for, you know, a minute or two and then uh, we'll continue the drive and yeah. So, and this is at Gary Force Honda, huge shout out to them great people and i'll show you their used car and new car inventory here shortly after this drive i'm walking alone the streets are empty the only thing i can see is my own silhouette i'm getting stronger step by step the clock is ticking but there's no time for me to see there is a glare but like I said 2019 Ridgeline all-wheel drive RTL E and the final price is 42915 
Alright, so here I am in the uh, back seat of the uh, 2019 Honda Ridgeline. And uh, so this is what the legroom looks like with where I'm sitting for driving. So you've got about yay much. I'd say about mm, 7 inches of legroom. Over here you have a little bit less. You can kind of see the difference of the seat all the way back versus where I drive. Uh, so I mean, you still have a decent amount of legroom over there, but it is a little tight. And then up here is all of the... Uh, navigation and infotainment uh, really clear looking views if you really want to get into detail on this type of stuff just go to your local Honda dealer and if you really want to get a good deal on one definitely contact Gary Force Honda I'm not paid in any way to say this type of stuff I'm just saying they're really cool guys and they really will work with you and they won't try to you know screw you over they genuinely actually care about you so um, this vehicle does have the uh, located right there which is your lane keep assist and then right here is your smart cruise control lane keep will keep you in the lane without uh, touching the uh, steering wheel and the smart cruise control will keep you from touching your brakes uh, and it'll keep you basically a certain distance away from the car uh, while you're driving and then this thing does have a sunroof as you can see here so that's also a nice feature and then up here is all of your, you know, sunroof controls, your lights, and your garage door opener, uh, and so on and so forth. So this vehicle in particular does have, I think, four miles on it. Yeah, really low, obviously, being brand new. Still has all of the uh, film on the screen, as you can see. And uh, so down here you have your mirror adjustments. You have your memory seating. You have econ mode. Uh, and then down there you have a whole bunch more stuff uh, with parking and your cargo lights and whether you want your uh, plugs to be on or off. Um, this is the collision um, avoidance. I don't know the technical name for it, but uh, essentially we'll hit the brakes if you know it detects something. Um, and then down here you've got the gas release and down below you can see you have the hood. Uh, and then you have your auto fronts, and they are not autos for the rears, lock unlock, and your uh, standard uh, kids don't freaking touch the windows. So, And then on this side you have all of your different menus, which will change uh, over here, and your source, and all that fun. So then down here you have this button right here. This is your different driving mode. So if you press this button, it'll come up over here. So you have, hold on, let me zoom in for you. All right, now, so you have normal, snow, mud, and sand. And you can see the different little graphics that come up with it. So that's a pretty neat little feature, but we'll keep it normal. And then we'll do a quick acceleration pull here in just a second. Uh, just a little one so we can see if it has any power or not. You're pulling out here. Also, I forgot to point out, down here is your heated steering wheel button. You just press it in and it'll turn the heated steering wheel on. So, once this car passes, we'll do just a quick little, like, 0 to 35 or something like that. Nothing crazy here. That's literally probably quarter throttle. <laughs> All right, so the further we drive this vehicle, uh, the more I can get behind it easily being a daily driver. So it feels like you're driving a really small SUV, but really it's a truck. So I mean, it's not a huge truck. I mean, if you're trying to pull a bunch of stuff, obviously this maybe isn't for you, but if you want something that, you know, hey, I'm gonna optionally need, you know, to get some furniture, or, you know, carry a dirt bike or a four-wheeler or whatever, that's gonna really work the best for what this is it's really a daily driver um very comfortable very quiet uh it's just yeah i mean it's really good for that uh so i think that's the market this is really going to go after and what it's going to accomplish uh so i've gone over pretty much everything else in this vehicle not in great detail because i want you guys to go check them out if you want to play with the tech in it or whatever because there's a lot of tech in this vehicle we can make this a 20 minute longer view i'm not going to do that you guys will get bored. So anyway, without further ado, we're going to return this truck. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, smash that like button, and have a great day. So the inventory that I was referring to is crazy. They have a uh, AMG, obviously 5.0, 5.0, Roush, which I've done a video on before. 
and uh, that's a cool little car. That one's really fun. And uh, I mean, they have so many cars here, it's not even funny. I mean, this is just all their used stuff. Audi. Oh, plane flying over. Hold on. They've got a C6, an SS, a Stingray, a ZL1, CLA250, Beamer, Lexus. I mean, several Lexuses, I should say. I mean, they have everything. They have so many trucks. They have a whole truck center as well. So definitely check them out. They can do anything you want. To, uh, definitely in a used vehicle and then any new Honda uh, for sure. So definitely check them out. And uh, this is here in Bowling Green, Kentucky.